الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله death awaits us all in preparing for death by doing righteous deeds and believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what we can do best to prepare for our death prepare for our parting from this world and that should be no mystery to any of us as we've seen so many who've come and gone before us and we see ourselves aging getting closer to the grave daily so what are the most important matters for us to focus on in our life or how should our life be directed well when we know that we have a purpose of life we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to worship him and him alone then that should be the utmost focus that our purpose we find it in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa li ya'budun that i have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me and ta'zim illah or making glorifying Allah is what we have to do by praying the salat in its correct time by knowing tawhid by supplicating often to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and knowing and preparing for the questions in the grave as we know as it came in authentic hadith that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that we would be asked three things in the grave man rabbuk wa ma dinuk wa man nabiyuk that will be asked who is your lord and what is your deen what is your faith and who is your prophet and in order to answer those questions correctly we would have had to have been a believer in this life we would have had to have put forth ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we would have had to actualize the ayat which all the messengers alayhi afdal salatu wa salam were sent with the call to tawhid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulan in ni'budullaha wajtanibu taghut that i sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid a taghut and avoid those things which are worshiped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in that verse it contains both a nafi wa ithbat as we said many times that you'll find in many of the ayat that there's an affirmation of tawhid and a negation of shirk so wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulan in ni'budullah which tanibu taqul that here Allah has had commanded all of the prophets with the worship of him and him alone and to avoid which is the negation a taghut worshiping the dead supplicating in prayer to anything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether it be the malaika whether it be the nba whether it be these trees whether it be the snow whether it be the rocks 
whether it be the jinn, wa'iyadhan billah, that all of it is shirk. All of it is to be negated. But of course, we don't say that all of it is ta'gut. We don't say that the messengers, alayhi after salatu wasalam, or the NBA are ta'gut. But this, but we negate shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In Allah la yaghfiru wa yushrik bi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik li man yashah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there grants forgiveness. He can, he can forgive us for all of our sins, but if you die upon shirk, die upon worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive. So kufr and shirk are unforgivable by our Lord, the one who created us all, the one who's mustahik lil ibadah, the one who is rightfully deserving of worship because he created all of this, all of this wonder. This looks like a kingdom of, I don't know what, but it's so beautiful here. If only you could see it personally and it contains danger, but it's vast, it's beautiful. It smells good, it feels good, and Allah created all of this. And if we benefit from this and see the signs, these are the ayat koniya. These are the ayat in Allah's creation. SubhanAllah. As these tree branches are dead and they fall because of the snow, we will die and fall. And then there'll be those who come after us. And may Allah bless us all to die on Islam and Iman. Ya yuladina amanu, ittaqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun. O you who believe, fear Allah and do not die except as Muslims. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.